fire, I just met her. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. And that is a perfect example as to why I don't make episode titles, because that is exactly the kind of genius you would expect to see in every single one of them. In the last episode, I probably shouldn't go this way. In the last episode, we entered the volcano after having a epic battle with Mrs. Plum. And in this episode, we're going to continue our descent, but not before finding a bunch of enemies. Uh, let's go ahead and mess up the... Wow, I didn't even know that animation existed. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm just going to mess up these on purpose because I want to see what they're all about. Uh, oh, it creates a firecracker. Hello, hello, hello. Oh no, the flame is so hot. It's so hot, I can't even see it. Oh no. I like how baby Mario's trying to put out the fire on Mario's butt. Oh, it looks really funny. And while your butt's on fire, you can't jump. And Mario's dead. Okay, I think we saw what they're all about. Let's bring them back. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see what an ice flower does to them. I assume that will do a lot of damage, like it will be a critical hit or something. Just do button mash, button mash, lots of button mash. I am bashing butt. It's right now. 40. Oh, that was a lot of damage, actually. Okay. Jump, jump. Uh, I think it shoots out green fireworks when it hits Luigi, but good to see that. Uh, just do all that. And jump, and jump jump. They're very composed if they're able to just like throw fire out of their head uh, to attack us with. Get rid of that guy and get rid of that guy. And the UFO just leaves. It must be a pretty cramped UFO when you think about it because like you see their eyes in there and then the top of it is just their head. Very uncomfortable probably. Go over here. And hey we landed right on top of him. Oh that's sort of cool. If you uh, jump on an enemy out on the field that isn't a uh, blazing shrew, you end up jumping on him and doing damage to him, and it puts out the flames so you can just attack him normally. That is very cool. I don't know why I attacked him first, considering we have a golden couple on here. Uh, am I going to lose my chance? Uh, yes, I am. Unfortunately, I messed up. Oh, well. Baby Mario gets to level up. Get all them stats. And HP looks really good. Uh, let's see. It's really good with speed. He was getting two turn attacks with all those uh, black totems. Uh, let's go with HP, I guess. Five. Very, very good. Baby Luigi follows suit. And we got... Uh, attack is looking really good. Yeah, plus six. Don't let me down. Okay, seems like we got rid of everyone on this area, so we can go ahead and start collecting the items. One of super, which is very nice. Coin block. Uh, I guess it's sort of nice. Uh, anything else? We got those things. Let's swirl them up here and hit that. Convenience and lucky badge. Gee, I wonder what that does. Lucky badge. It uh makes it easier to hit lucky. Do lucky hits. We already have one of them, so no real need to get another one. Uh, I guess I'll heal up Mario while I'm at it, and we're good to go. Oh my god, my eyes are like completely failing me right now, so I apologize if I need to take moments to just adjust them, because they're just falling right out of my sockets, because that's what eyes do, I guess, I don't know. I'm just in a lot of sticking pain, because looking at tiny screen while sick is not very good. And also being in a volcano doesn't help either. And hey, we got one of those do hoo do hoo 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 keys. Let's just hit the block. 32! That seems to be my lucky number with that thing, because that's what I always get. Either that or 31. So just walk back over here. This is a dead end, so it's basically just for a bunch of collectibles, but nothing wrong with a bunch of collectibles. Nice to have them and to hold on to them until every single boss fight, and then it just goes by in like a second, so uh, whatever. I'm walking across here. We got more things to explore, so much to do, and so much to see. Okay, land another enemy. Oh, no, it isn't that. It's actually a required thing of Mahuzi. Uh, nothing over here right now. Oh, we got this pathway, though. Kind of like that you can't see. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's a dead end, so we'll get separated for too long. And how'd you get back out of here? Okay. Do that, and walk over here. And we got this again, so let's hit it right now. And stop it. Over there, we got some coins. 
Jump, thank you. Ultra drop. Let's not drop into the lava. And downwards. And we got two more blocks right here. Uh, let's see, we got just a regular coin block. And then we got booty burn. Great. This contains red peppers. Very fitting. We're in a volcano. Uh, head down here. And line it up right like so. Go here. Get two ice flowers. And we got one more item down there, presumably. And watch me make a liar on myself because it isn't the last item. It's a bunch of coins. Okay. Kind of a rude trick if like they made it so you lose out on the, whatever's in the block if you hit it with the wrong bro by accident but no they're not that cruel we got two regular mushrooms back there that was kind of awkward haven't seen those in a million years get them and uh, i guess we'll just keep on keeping on uh we could go this way right it's just a way back around though i believe uh we can't actually do that can i do a hurricane spin survey says no okay Invisible wall blocking our progress. So we're just gonna go this way for now. And what do we got? What 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 do you get? Got this thing. More tornado mini game. Yay! Whee! So you just fly, 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 like there's no tomorrow. Get all the coins. Uh just keep in mind if you press X or Y you uh have them drop quicker. Uh, you cannot stop it, however. It's not like a Deku Leaf in Wind Waker where you just, like, take it in and out over and over to, uh, halt your speed or, like, change your speed or whatever. Uh, once you press it, you're going down to the ground. Uh, we got Golden Pants! Sounds very hilarious. I assume that gives you more money if you wear it. Uh, let's see, Golden Pants. Undeniably comfy pants that are as bright as the sun to boot. Uh, decreases attack for both of them, so I don't really want to give it to either of them. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way up. Uh, is there a warp pipe, like, right back here? I believe there was. Yes, there is. Okay, so I could cheat a little bit. Probably could have cheated as well back there before, so I might miss down some coin blocks. Oh no, what a travesty. I actually missed something for once. How will we ever be able to go on with ourselves? Uh, do this again. Fly around like this. Go around. And collect more and more coins. This is another coin grinding tactic, I guess, if you're playing those minigames excessively. Uh, just go over here. And, oh, I didn't miss out on that 20 coin. How nice. Uh, just collect all these. And eventually, we got ourselves another coin block. This is a 1-up super. Okay, cool. And there's one more block right there. I will cut away to getting that and show you what it is. <laughs> Twenty twenty coins aren't really worth it, but whatever. Oh, uh, where's our pipe, bruh? Mamma mia. mia! We need a pipe so we can get our big bros back, bruh. Uh, there's the pipe. Get on over here. And time to annihilate everyone in sight. Oh, okay, so it isn't- Oh, well, I guess it is, uh, based on that, so... I thought the firecracker would just shoot out red or green flames at random, but no, he has a red or green firecracker that will only shoot out red or green flames, so makes it a bit easier to know which bro he's going to attack. Also, I just sort of decided on a new rule. You know, I kept on saying how I wish the boss fights were a bit more challenging and all, all that stuff, and how I keep on complaining that the recordings go on for a lot longer than they really should be. How about this? From here on out, I won't fight every single enemy along the way. If I accidentally jump on an enemy like that, then I guess I'll do the fight. I'm not going to run away from it, but if I see an enemy, let's just not fight it. I was looking at my other save file, because this game does allow you to have two different save files. And I completed the game on that one at level uh, 29. And we're getting kind of close to that, all things considered. So I think from here on out, I'll show off new enemies and whatnot, but I'm not going to go out of my way to fight every single enemy along the way anymore. 
So hopefully that'll make things, uh, that'll make progress go by quicker, and it will uh, keep me from being super crazy overpowered. It seems like a win-win in that regard, so hopefully I won't completely regret this decision, and I won't end up being completely terrible in, uh, the end of the game. So, uh, we'll just have a happy, happy, good time, presumably. Uh, just gonna keep on doing this once more, and then you don't have to worry about me cutting out every single part, every, like, five seconds, be like, oh, hey, a new screen, better cut away for five hours so I can fight literally everything. I think that's a pretty good compromise, so now that's taken care of, let's actually go on with the adventure, but now that means I have to come up with stuff to talk about. Oh no, how horrible. Uh, looks like there's nothing else on this screen, so we're just gonna go over to the left. Uh, looks like another minigame, and hey, this thing right here. No, it wasn't a minigame, it was actually progress. This guy's just gonna drop on down, so we could descend further if we want to, but not quite yet. We're gonna get all of these items, and gee, it's like they're setting us up for a boss fight or something. Uh, let's go and not do that. Let's spin. What am I? I'm trying to do it, but it's not letting me. And I can't even reach it. Uh, don't know what that's all about, so I guess we're skipping it for now. Go on in here. Whoa! Lucky block's gone now! We go down! Blah! Whoop! More blocking blocks block path! We go nowhere! Okay, so looks like this is the final area though, because nowhere to go afterwards once we hit that bottom part. Uh, if we go over here, however, we get ourselves another warp pipe. And gee, I wonder where it takes us. Up to the second pipe right here, and we can create the second pathway. Very, very nice, but we still got a little bit of ways to go. Head on back down. And simply get on with the show. Dig a dug, dig a dug. Uh, if we head up here, we got very slow movement when we jump up stairs. Ice flowers. Uh, I guess this is where we get those that bean that we saw before. Not sure what it is with all these branching pathways, but whatever. Not like it's difficult to keep track of or what, anything like that. Uh, we got another block right there. Must hit all of the blocks. It's very, very important to me. Uh, we still haven't gotten that one over there, though. That bean. I must know about the bean, bruh. There we go. That's how we get that bean. The bean was so incredibly special that it was given its own special block that allowed us to access it. Uh, head in here. And we get a bean. I kind of wish there was, like, a variation of bees. I think, do they do that in a Superstar Saga? I they probably do. I don't know. Played it once. Or <laughs> whatever. I'm going over here, head down, not down this way, because we already did that. Uh, we just gotta get rid of the red block and then a blue block. It's spoiling the fact that we'll be blocked once more. So sad. Uh, but this looks pretty straightforward, especially since the block is right sinking here. Watch it! What are you doing jumping on it? I'm Thwop, I'll crush you! Try to hit block up there, you dumb! Ugh, fine, hit it. Or not! You think I'm in a volcano with time on ants? You see ants? No! I'm bored, we play game. Okay, no time. You scared? You need all hit block. Uh, looks like we have no choice. Yes, we'll play. Let's play. Thwomp knew it. Tutorial music! The soundtrack has been really repetitive lately, I feel like. Rules easy, lots of gems up ahead. Get more than 30, got it? Good, go. Okay, simple enough. Just gotta get 30, and then we can progress with the adventure. Woohoo! Uh, let's see if we can actually get them on the first try. I'm not sure if there are any items or whatnot. This is also another uh, easy way to get a lot of money, presumably. Or maybe it gives you beans. I don't really remember. We'll find out in due time, though. Uh, just head over here, I guess. Get all these. I'd be really jerkish if there were exactly 30, but I don't think there is. Uh, just go over here, here, and wow, I cannot believe I actually did it. I had no idea I would do it on the first try. It's like I've got natural born skill or something, or maybe this is just a child's game. Time up. Whoa, you got 39. Good, you do it. Now you hit block, you climb up. 
while you hope you reach it. Yeah. Maybe hey, Luigi can't hit it because he's a wuss. Come back again. You know, get off easy next time. So, what happens if we do it again? Can we talk to you? Uh, do we leave and come back, maybe? I swear you could have done this. Yeah, there's a block right there. Uh, you guys, you back, you play game? Sure. It's free. Not easy this time. Ready? All these gems, grab them. 50 this time, you get, you get all, you get prize. So, we have to get literally all of them? Uh, I'll try my darndest. I didn't think... If it's the same layout as before, I don't think we can get them all in one try. Ah, oh, I missed two. And that threw off my whole groove. Uh, we're getting that many. Our reward is... 20 coins, okay. I think they have to leave and come back literally every time you want to do this, but whatever. Oh, come on! Oh, no! Why do I only get, like, 22? Is my reward any smaller than 20 coins? Nope, you literally just fail and you get 20 coins every time. Ugh. Watch this not even be worth it, I swear to god. If the reward for this minigame for getting all of them is money, I'll be stinking angry. Better be some amazing stinking pants or badge or something. It's different. They have different layouts, so you can't even practice. Ugh. Come on! Time up! Oh, finally. It wasn't too terribly long, but still. Whoa, you got 50! Good, you do good, and I promise something. Get on me! This better be stinking worth, I swear to God, it's money. While you, you reach it, we get a badge. Simple badge. Simple enough? You come back! What does this do? I swear to God. Didn't we see this? The smaller your stock of an attack item, the more damage it'll deal. In uh, not gonna use that word because I use it way too much. Unique. Very, very unique. And a waste of time. Do not care. If that's not the only reward you could get from this guy, I will flash up on screen what else you could get from him. If they are worth your time, then I will probably come back and get it. But right now, I'm going to progress with the story. Good luck's gone now, we go down! Hooray! And wow, Mario and Luigi are just used to it at this point. They're just like, yep, we're just gonna stand still. No more- Now even more blocky blocks block path! We go nowhere! Gee, I wonder where we're gonna find this one. I have no idea. It's right up here. Kinda weird how they split up this area. I don't know why, just like... The fact that they made like three different segments, but like two of them are just like joke areas, I don't know. Whatever, not really complaining with short areas, I am A-OK -okay with that. I'm just gonna go through this pipe real quick and unlock this final pathway in case we ever decide to come back here. For any reason whatsoever. And now that we go down this pipe. 
we will head to the bottom of the volcano and gee I wonder what we are going to find down there I have no idea Bump! All blocking blocks gone now! We go down! You know, has there ever been a voice clip of Mario saying Peach or Princess or anything like that? I don't think there has been. There's plenty of voice clips of Peach saying Mario, though, that's for sure. Don't think I got punched off Yoshi's Island le like some scrub. No way! I left on my terms! And now I'm here getting ready to launch the revenge scheme to end all revenge schemes! Whoa <laughs> ha ha! This little firebrand reminds me of a younger me. Look at him, the kid's got a flare of evil. I'm bringing him on board as my partner, and the two of us are gonna thrash you losers. This is the real deal. Winner take all. Let's go. We must fight against Bowser and Bowser Jr. Oh, they're piggybacking just like us, but they don't have a cute pose. He's literally just standing behind him. Because, uh, graphical limitations, I guess. Time for copy flower! Copy that, copy that, copy that, copy that, copy that! Oh, that's sort of unfortunate. Not nearly one of my better combos, but we got the, uh, got some damage done to start things off. Let's switch it up with the trampoline, why not? I know some Mario RPGs and Mario games in general, they uh, change whether or not you could jump on Bowser. Some games they make it so he's spiky, some games they don't make it like that. Thankfully, this is not one of the games where you aren't able to jump on him, because then it would be very, very lame and very unfortunate that we weren't able to use some of our breast, our breast bro items, our best bro items. Yeah, we're breast bros. Or, eh, probably don't want to make that into a term. Ah, whatever. Got some damage in, 218 to be exact. And he's going to shoot fire at Luigi. And then it, Mario is at very low HP. I don't know what the heck I'm, is going on with him. Did not prepare for this fight, apparently. And there's going to be just like a Koopa Shell where we uh, have to just hit it back over and over. Uh, faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Probably not the best idea to use both, actually, because I get kind of stuck. Uh, what we're going to want to do now is probably another copy flower. Might want to heal up Mario while I'm at it and heal up everyone, really. Y, Y, B, A, Y, A, A, Y, A, X, X, B, Y, 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 A, A, yeah, balls. 184, uh, switch to Luigi, and, what well, switch, it's just his turn. Uh, let's use a super drop on everybody. And so he's going to do a ground pound and hello, Shockwave! Uh, I should have been prepared for that. Uh, green block, red block, red block, yellow block hits both, yellow block hits both. I can't speak. Uh, he gives a mushroom to Bowser. Unfortunately, we can't get to Bowser Jr. until Bowser is gone. And we kind of wish you got to choose which one you went for, but no. Why? Uh, as long as they're together, they're inseparable. It's kind of, I guess it's sort of like us, because they can't get to the babies until they get rid of the big bro. So I guess it's fair. All's fair in Bowser land, I guess. Uh, go ahead and revive Mario, because we sort of need him. Sort of important to our cause. And we will go ahead and use a bros item, like the trampoline. And there you go. 308. Uh, not quite done yet. Okay. And go. And oh, he did a little sneak attack. Uh, if you see him like clutch a see the right before, then, then you know he's gonna do the sneak attack. Uh, he's providing 100 HP at a time. That's really jerkish. Okay. 
Okay, makes it a bit easier for us, and there he goes. Okay, finally does a little bit of damage to him. Uh, Big Bowser is nowhere to be seen for a little bit, so we could uh, just hit that way, and we can focus on little little buddy, little BJ. No, not BJ. It's not Bowser Jr. It's Baby Bowser, a completely different character, a very cool character. Do not care about Super Baby Bowser or Bowser Jr. or whatever. Just, I don't care about like all these things about the That's why I want more different villains in the Mario franchise, just so we have like not just a bunch of variations of Bowser and Bowser Jr., Bowsette, and Bowser, 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 Bowser. Give us some characters that aren't Bowser and that aren't just trying to kidnap Peach. Give us new plots and all that jazz. That's why Mario and Rabbids was so awesome, because it was a different villain and different objectives, different goals, all that jazz. It was just cool. Oh, whatever. Jumpity, 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 I can't breathe! Oh god, I want to cough so badly! Oh Jesus! Oh, this hurts! Oh god! This probably sounds really weird to my neighbors! Oh god! Oh jeez! Oh, 467. How is he still alive? My god. Went, sure went up a bunch of levels since last time we fought him. Just jump and avoid that. Uh, let's try and use a... Uh, let's use a cannonballer. Why not? It's been a while. Pew, 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 pew. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, A, Y, B, X. A, Y, B, X. 200 damage just from that, James. And Bowser Jr.'s gone. Very, very nice. And now it's just regular old Bowsery poo. How nice. Uh, I guess Ice Flower will be pretty powerful against him, so let's try it out. One eighty one. Uh, and for the sake of variety, let's use a good old green shell. Haven't used one of those in a hot minute. Okay, two thirty seven. And I guess. A smash egg, pocket chomp, a uh, premonition of things to come in the future, I guess, kinda. Who was in it? Oh god. Sneezing. Oh, that was it. Okay, 40 damage. And he's dead. <coughs> oh god. Oh, I'm barely holding on, but I still made it out somehow. Hooray. I'm the best Let's Player ever, guys. Mario gets a level up, level 22. Oh, we got uh, really good with HP. Uh, really good with defense. Uh, ooh, good with speed. What do we want more, defense or HP? Probably defense. So six, okay. And we got 64. We got Luigi up to level 22. Uh, what do we got for him? We got a really good looking attack right there, and good defense. Luigi doesn't really need defense all that much, so we'll give him attack. Three, okay. And that's it. Crud! Kruber Louie! Very square eruption! I like the way I have the little icons of Bowser and Baby Bowser at the top. I guess she was just waiting there this entire time. <laughs> oh, little dude, get stronger and more evil, always! Big dude, I'm gonna be even bigger, stronger, and eviler than you someday! What's your name, by the way? It's Ray!
Convenience! <laughs> At least we had the intelligence to follow her. Hi! Aboard the mothership. I wonder if he'll get hit in the head. Golly gee, that's such a funny gag. Travesty, Princess Peach is nowhere to be seen. Perhaps she's been taken farther into the ship. We must find her. Luigi. Well, this is unfortunate. We are now aboard the mothership. So does that mean the final battle is upon us? Only one way to find out. Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to explore the mothership of the shrews. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.